Hello and welcome to WooCommerce plugin series of Quick Tips. In this series of videos, I will show you all the details about WooCommerce plugin to create e-commerce website. If you are new to my channel, then do subscribe to the channel to get the quick tips on website design, search engine optimization and social media marketing tools. So let's start with the video. So in this video, we will see how to create add-ons on WooCommerce website and using add-ons, you will be able to generate some extra revenue on your WooCommerce website. You can see that these are the add-ons. You can also collect donation while selling the products. You can create add-ons like gift wrap, gift card, messages, and there are many different add-ons that you can create on a WooCommerce website using a simple plugin called as WooCommerce product add-ons. So let's see how does this work. So we are going to download and install this plugin called as WooCommerce product add-ons. This is not a free plugin. This is a paid plugin and the pricing is $1.49 per year. So I guess you can buy this uh, plugin for $49 and use it and you can keep on using it even after one year. So I'll give you the link to this uh, plugin in the description box. So just go ahead and check the description box and you will get a link in the description box. I already have this plugin downloaded on my computer and I'm going to install it. So this is the website that we have been using for this WooCommerce series. So let's go to the dashboard of this WordPress. Go to plugins and then go to add new. Now go to upload plugin because I have this plugin downloaded on my computer. So I'm going to select that plugin, click open and install now. So you need to buy this plugin and once you purchase it, you can save it on your computer and from there you can upload this plugin to your WooCommerce website. Now activate this plugin. All right, now you can see that WooCommerce products and here is an option add-ons. Go to add-ons. All right, now you can create add-ons on product categories level as well as you can create add-ons on product page itself also if you want to use the same add-on on all the products then you can create add-on at this uh, product category level i'll suggest you to go to the product and create add-on on that particular product and if you want to repeat this you can simply copy the code and use it on the other product i'll show you how to do it so let's go to the products now we are going to create one add-on on this uh, product so Let's open this product in a new window. So this is the product and we are going to create an add-on for this product. So let's go to edit product. All right, now here you will see the option add-ons. Go to add-ons. Now click on add field. Okay, now these are the types of fields that you can add. So this is check boxes, short text, long text, file upload, customer defined price quantity heading so you can choose any one of them now for this particular product we are going to select short text so people will enter the text that they want to print on this coffee mug let me show you the product again so this is the coffee mug and i want people to send me a short text that i'm going to print on this coffee mug okay so let's select this option under add-ons short text and any text only letters only numbers letters and numbers only email address so i'll select any text title i'm going to put some title for this field make it your title and this will be label add description please So this will be the required field. So if they are selecting the add-on, then they should send us the title that you, they want to print on the coffee mug. So if you want to limit the character length, you can select this one option and limit the character length. It will fit on the coffee mug. Let's have it on 20. Now this is an add-on. So you may want to increase the price for this uh, extra printing on the coffee mug. So let's see, uh, the price of this mug is uh, uh, 150 rupees and it may be different in your currency and in Indian rupees it is 150 this is just an example so I want to add extra 50 rupees for this extra print so we are going to charge extra 50 rupees for this uh, 
extra printing on the coffee mug. Okay, now let's update the product and now refresh the page. Now here you will see that extra 50 rupees and I can add the title. So this is the title that I want to add and uh, the price let's go to add to cart and you will see that the title is uh, here and the 50 rupees has been added now the thing is that we have made it mandatory so they will have to put some title and we are going to add the extra price so let's not make it mandatory so do add on and uh, edit this one let's not make it required field and then update it now let's refresh it okay now if i add some text here then only it will add the price if i do not add text then it will not add the price and it will go to the cart automatically it, so it is not mandatory to add the text and it will charge only 150 rupees for this one if i add text then it will add to the car and it will be priced 50 rupees extra and that will be 200 rupees all right so this is how this add-on works now if you want to repeat this add-on on another product you can simply click on this export and then copy this entire code now let's add this on this particular product click on edit product Now go to add-ons and click on import here uh, paste the code that we have copied and click update and let's see this product now you can see that the same add-on has been created on this product also so you can simply copy this code and paste it on the other product and the same add-on will be added to this new product also all right now let's see another type of add-on uh, this is a shirt let's close all the other products okay now we want to add some image on this uh, shirt we want customer to send us an image that they want to print on this particular shirt so we want them to upload some image file so that uh, we will be able to print it on this uh, t-shirt so let's see how we can do this go to edit product now go to add-ons Go to add field let's make it file upload so that people will be able to send the image and we will be able to use that image to print on the shirt so let's make it heading upload image here add the description please upload the image of the print that you want on the shirt let's adjust the price extra price let's make it 100 rupees whatever price you want to add you can add here let's make it required and let's update this product now let's refresh now here you will see an image that they can upload and it will be sent and you can use that image and print on the t-shirt so here they can click on browse and select the image and after that they can add to the card so they will need to select the print because this will be a customized t-shirt and they will need to send the image and right now we have made it required so it needs to be done so let's make it not required and update it now let's refresh this page now this is not mandatory so you can simply click on add to cart and product will be added if they browse the file then it the extra hundred rupees will be added to the cart so this is how it works now if you want to collect donation you can also collect donation uh, while selling the products let's see how does this work let's go to all products and we are going to add donation button to one of the products so, so let's use this product go to edit product go to add-ons go to add field 
and here select the option customer defined price and here you can mention donation or you can say simply donate and add some description please donate for needy people now limit price range so they can donate from 10 rupees to let's say 500 rupees okay now click update now let's see the price of this product will be 50 updated now let's refresh the product now you can see that this is the original price of the t-shirt and here is the description donate please donate for needy people and here they can add the amount that they want to donate let's say 100 rupees and this 100 rupees will be added here and the subtotal will be 450 so let's click on add to cart let's go to cart and here you will see that the subtotal is uh, 450 out of which donate is 100 so this is how you can also gather donation while selling the products now let's see other options on this uh, add-ons go to add-ons and click add field Let's say add-ons, new add-ons, label it as heading, please select add-ons if required. We are going to create some add-ons, let's say this is the product, okay now let's say let's make it gift wrap, we are going to add gift wrapped and flat fees of 50. Let's add one more option, gift card and flat fee of rupees 25. Let's say, let's add one more option. Let's add message and price will be 25. So these are the extra add-ons that we are going to show on the product. So let's update it. Now I refresh the product. Now here you will see different add-ons that we just added. Now here is the donate that we previously created. Let's add 50 rupees for the donation. You will see it here. Now gift wrap, if they want to add gift wrap, they can select gift wrap. Price will be added here. If they want to add gift card, they can add gift card. It will be added here. Message will also be added here. Now let's see what we can do for the message okay so I guess there is no option for this message so anyways we can add another option these three options are added and the pricing will be 500 so let's add to cart now let's view the cart now you will see that the previously added product that is donate and other options and this is the new product added to the card with uh, new add-ons all right so these are the add-ons let's see if we can find another add-on let's see multiple choice short text these are the same quantity is just the number of products multiple choices this will be a drop down from there they can select the add-on Let's make this one as multiple choices. Let's delete this one. Right now we have these options as, let's see, right now we have these options as check boxes. And now if you select, if we change it to multiple choices, it will come as a drop down, and people will be able to select only one of these options. So let's refresh it. We have selected multiple choices now but it will not allow them to uh, select multiple choices they will select only one so out of these three add-ons they will be able to select only one okay so this is how this multiple choices work all right so as you know that the pricing of this product this plugin is dollar 49 if you have a good woocommerce website and you have a traffic then by selling add-ons you will definitely able to cover your price and you will be able to earn more using this particular add-on feature on your WooCommerce website. So I guess this plugin is very good and it will definitely increase the revenue of your products. So 
that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips